The iconic coastal town of St Ives is a hotspot for tourists and its stunning scenery has inspired the likes of Virginia Woolf and Daphne du Maurier to name a few. It's known as the jewel in Cornwall's crown and today an excited crowd has gathered to see the Queen herself as she visits St Ives for the first time. The town's harbour master, Stephen Bassett, was one of the selected few who were lucky enough to meet the Queen. It was a great honour to be in the lineup to greet them to the town of St Ives. Uh, I think it's the first time that a monarch has actually visited St Ives. Um, that was shown by all the crowds that actually turned out and we had a lovely bit of weather. It was uh, an absolute momentous occasion for the town, absolutely wonderful. The Queen visited the RNLI lifeboat station where she met the courageous volunteer team who saved lives at sea and are currently launching an appeal for a new lifeboat. The Queen is the RNLI's patron and operations manager Derek Hall describes what it felt like to meet her and Prince Philip. I met the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, in fact I escorted the Duke of Edinburgh around the boathouse to meet the crew and the families and uh, it was amazing, absolutely amazing, kind of bizarre. A thing you never expect to do, but absolutely amazing. It's an incredible honour, really is. And that, and that she's not that she's come to the town as much, but that she's come to see us in the lifeboat station in particular. Um, once in a lifetime opportunity for everyone. Some lucky bystanders were blessed with the chance to meet the Queen themselves. Yes, yeah, she came across here and I saw her walking up and I thought, oh, is she going to come here? And I have some flowers to present to her. And she just came over and smiled at me. And I said, can I give you these, Your Majesty? And she said, oh, yes, yes. She said, thank you very much. You're very kind. And she looks so beautiful. Such a lovely lady. Oh, it's amazing to see her so close. Yeah, I've never seen her that close before. As the Queen went on her way, the crowd was left to enjoy the sunshine and reflect on this wonderful day for the town of St. Ives.